welcome back you guys boy ck happy halloween to those of you guys that do celebrate the holiday hope you guys have a ton of fun tonight go out celebrate trick-or-treat if you're young enough or just go out party you know have some fun i figured why not bring you guys some most fear gameplay i'm glad i don't have to play mutt pretty much have no most fear players on my mutt team sold all of them right before the um, promo drop but this is draft champions man we have three most fear players on the team mike vick and Khalil Mack being the two most notable players on the team. So we start off with Ball and look at that hit, man. I did not like the way he was hitting my players. That wasn't even the most feared player. That was just a regular guy just laying the lumber. So Mike Vick dropping way back on an absolute bullet to Marquise Goodwin, the unsung hero of almost every single Draft Champions team I'm ever using in this game mode. So here we are on defense. Khalil Mack patrolling the defense and somehow he finds a wide open receiver behind four of my defenders and he's in the red zone we're getting pressure off the edge though wow we have some nice linemen on this team nice d lineman jpp being one of them look at him with his nine fingers chasing down the quarterback forcing a fumble let's go man we get the ball just like that seven to zero mike vick using his legs a beautiful playmaker and oh my goodness clay matthews eat turf and then once again here he is he's coming back for more <laughs> twice in the same play he gets absolutely embarrassed man i'm telling you these most fear players they just look so clumsy but hey hey i'm not knocking it you know it's a it was a crazy idea by ea to even have that in the game as my opponent rage quit so we are moving on to game number two jarvis landry is the only most fear player we have to go against but he has to worry about michael vick's arm look at that cannon people Ugh. later in the game you're gonna see him use his legs to absolutely embarrass the defense right now he's just throwing dots all over the field we're up seven to zero and then <laughs> it didn't take me long to realize we had no answer for jarvis landry if we would double team jarvis landry he would take off scrambling with russell wilson but we did put a spy up on most of the plays some plays i forgot and some plays i just had no answer for jarvis landry i mean look at this just absolutely embarrassing two of my dbs I had to manually go over there and defend him with Khalil Mack. But Khalil Mack's not a DB, man. So it wasn't too easy. Right here, we're going deep again. Marquise Goodwin with another acrobatic catch. This time it's Vic. <laughs> Putting the juke moves on him. Getting a nice nine-yard gain. Very next play. To the end zone, baby. Second touchdown of the game. Mike Vic using his legs. Seven foot tall. I mean, honestly, yeah. You could have done without all the height. You could have just made their, their stats like 99 overall. You didn't have to make them 7 foot tall. But it's all good, man. We're just having fun with it, I guess. But this is what can happen. This is what can happen to me. Why can't you just keep him 6 foot whatever he is and not have them? Oh, check this out, though. Oh. <laughs> what was going on here? Russell Wilson really hates running, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> he had an easy touchdown. He decided to pass it across his body. He doesn't get the touchdown, and he's still down one possession. Mike Vick rolling out to the right, looking to go deep. Damn. <laughs> I felt really bad for him when that happened. I'm not a fan of aggressive catches and lob streaks and whatnot, but this is just a weird game. This is just a, a chuck it up game. You're just having fun, you know, see what kind of crazy stuff can happen. And Mike Vick taking off another one 21 to 7 at this point man it was really fun playing with this most fear vic too bad i could not say the same for the defense as we were getting absolutely dotted up the entire game right there Khalil Mack could even take down the regular size vernon davis i don't know what else i could have done we had a spy up most of the time but right here we just let him run loose get the first down eight seconds left in the second half and of course you know what's coming you know he's going to scramble around, run around just for a little bit and then dot me up. Story of the game. And of course he gets ball coming out of the second half. We went for an onside kick. That's how mad I was. And we decided to leave the Giant on an island. Luckily, we broke it up. Second and ten, he's going to find his receiver over the middle. His regular size dudes are mossing my DBs. That's how bad it was. And of course, Jarvis Landry just, what, just I don't even know what to call that. Now Davis making a look. Beautiful spin move. Continue where he left off from the first game. Making people look silly. And then Michael Vick. Continue where he left off. Throwing an absolute pull into his favorite target. Marquise Goodwin. Burning the defense over the top. 28-21 to at this point. Third and 10. 
quadruple coverage on Jarvis Landry and we still couldn't stop him. So he's in the 10 yard line, first and goal. I'm taking matters in my own hands. User pick with Khalil Mack, about time we made a play with the behemoth known as Khalil Mack. Absolutely amazing stats and we're finally seeing what he can do. Mike Vick, I guess I got a little bit too greedy here. You know, I kept going deep every single play and it came back to bite me in the ass. First and 10. We finally decided to put a spy up and that pretty much stopped his offense. All he was doing was running left to right, man. I don't know why it took me that long. But it's better late than never and we figured it out late in the third quarter that if we just put a spy up, this guy's pretty much useless. <laughs> he can't do anything. As you get another sack on third and long, fourth and 31. Fourth and forever, he's gonna chuck one more up to Jarvis Landry, he's incomplete. And that's gonna force a rage quit. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys have a great Halloween weekend. Subscribe if you're new, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.